depth method. For our second episode, we're going to take a look at some of the larger winter style flies. These flies are typically fished in higher, colder water, lots of time with substantial color in it. The larger flies are easier for the fish to see in dirty water and seem to get the attention of these cold fish and make them willing to move farther to grab them than the, summer, than the smaller summer style flies do. The flies are weighted lots of times and fished on shooting heads or sink tip lines to bring them down closer to the fish. The first fly we're going to tie today is uh, a pink variation called a dirt dog. Kind of an attractor, gets their attention, makes them come grab it even when they're frozen. All right, for our first fly we're going to tie here is the dirt dog. And <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do on this fly is mount the eyes up at the head. This is going to keep me from having to add them at the end and getting gaps and spacing issues. So I'm going to mount it here in the beginning and I'll be able to build the fly right into the head. I learned this trick a long time ago when I'm mounting eyes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take 10 or 15 wraps in one direction. Once I kind of get, you know, two or three, get it stuck to the hook and still wobbly, then I'm just going to take 10 nice tight wraps and just one direction. That's going to make it kind of crooked, but then I can force it over to the side. And when I take 10 and 15 wraps in the other direction, it'll help straighten them out and it'll make those eyes super tight and they're not going to move at all. And I can do this way faster than if I was doing figure eight, one, one direction, one, the other direction. So now I got a, a nice, really tight eye right where I want it with, with a little bit of speed there. <clears throat> Once I get that mounted, I'm going to go all the way back to where I'm going to start this fly and get her going. I want a nice, solid body wrap here. I'm not going to just go real fast and space it out. Just get a nice solid thread base. And every 10 or 15 wraps probably, I'm going to spin my thread to flatten it out. This is my favorite thread for tying steelhead flies, Ultra 140. Um, really tough stuff. And when you spin it, it lays flat and gives great traction on all our materials. Okay, I'm back to just about where I want. Plenty of bend. Thread's kind of dangling in between the point and the barb there, and this is where we're going to start. These winter flies are, are tied uh, for a little more down and dirty work than, than the, uh, their summer cousins, which are, you know, a lot about art and tying pretty and everything like that. We got a lot more room to work, so we don't have to conserve as many wraps. Um, we can put a lot more materials on. And we've we got to get this fly down to the fish, and uh, so we're going to make it heavy and weighted and just, just not as uh, delicate as the summer flies, but just as pretty in my opinion. We're going to try to follow a lot of the same rules that we enjoy in our, in our summer flies as well. Try to follow those traditions of steelhead fly tying. So the first thing I'm going to add here is a little piece of uh, diamond.